Paul Harrell. Weekdays from 4 to 6. Learn more at paulharrell.com. I do see, uh, do I see Josh Waters in the, in the audience? Josh. Josh is here. He's let me pull up. Pull up a seat, Josh. Welcome back to the program, sir. Hey, Paul. It's good to be here. Have you been on? You haven't been on since you guest hosted for me when I when I was a new father. Have I you? Haven't. No, I haven't. Okay. Thank you so much for for doing the program. Well, you're welcome. It was an honor to to try to step in and uh, fill your shoes for a day. I can't can't do it any service. I don't think. But <laughs> I think I think uh, you did a great job. Uh, I do. I appreciate the opportunity. Well, um, so tell us about. Uh, you're here at the Calvin Coolidge Awards. Yeah. Um, it's gonna be it's gonna be a good night. It, it's gonna be a it, it's just gonna be refreshing to see so many people who do believe that smaller government, more liberty, you know, is a good thing. Uh, because uh, coming off of this legislative session, there was a lot of defense that had to be played, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm excited. It's gonna kind of be you know the the cream of the crop so to speak of defenders of liberty here in Arkansas the most conservative legislator so I think it's going to be encouraging you know it's going to uh, create a good vibe everyone can kind of feed off of each other because sometimes it does get lonely when you you know you get attacked or um, you, you're called out or whatever that these legislators have to go to yeah. go through for the cause of liberty when they put the taxpayer first that can be a hard decision sometime in these committees or yeah. on the floor. So I, I'm excited to be here. What and what's interesting about um, the philosophy of many of the legislators who are going to be here tonight, who have taken tough votes, right? The philosophy is interesting because um, even though there's more people out there uh, than you think, just individualism, liberty, that sort of thing. It doesn't really lend itself to centralized control. It doesn't lend itself to the group think. It doesn't lend itself to, hey, my back's so sore because I just voted to grow government and everyone's congratulating me about it and I feel so good. That's that's not what uh, uh, liberty-minded people lend itself to. And so even when you take that tough vote, uh, and even though it may be close, you still feel like you're out on a limb all by yourself. And that's why I'm encouraged when, when all these folks get here, uh, it's going to be really neat to just kind of see, hey, these, these are people who, at least according to their voting record, yeah. they get it, yeah. and that's good. And that's what I think is really cool about tonight is, you know, these are the legislators who don't, you know, just tweet out a bunch of conservative things. They don't, you know, just go down to the floor and maybe have this great conservative speech and come back to their seats and vote the opposite way. These are the legislators who over and over and over again voted the right way, even if maybe they didn't even make a big spectacle. Yeah. Some of them have a great voting record and maybe didn't go even to keep their head down and just, the and just do the yeah. right thing. Uh, yeah, I love that. Listen to this. This is great. Uh, this is over at conduitforaction.org, advertising the uh, Conduit for Commerce Awards tonight. It says, Conduit for Commerce has announced their biennial Calvin Coolidge Heroes of Freedom Award winners to the top conservatives in Arkansas. Uh, see below the full announcement from Conduit for Commerce. Quote, Conduit for Commerce is pleased to announce their biennial Calvin Coolidge Heroes of Freedom Award. These awards are presented to Arkansas legislators who fought for liberty in the recent legislative session and is based solely on their voting records. Quote, broken campaign promises and bloviating tweets net you zero Coolidge Awards. The winners represent the cream of the crop of conservative limited government Arkansas state legislators. Yeah, I think some of those bloviating folks on Twitter, they might qualify for the uh, Woodrow Wilson Loss of Freedom Awards. Yeah, I heard that those might be coming tonight as well. You kind (laughs) of see the worst bills of the session. Uh Oh, the worst bills of the session will get Woodrow Wilson loss of freedom awards yeah that would be hilarious yeah i wonder if they're going to be here to accept and give a stirring speech for how much you know tax money they're trying yeah. to take from and progressivism people. is the answer yeah yeah I, that, that would go over like a lead balloon in this in this room i think i know i don't know what it would do <laughs> like it'd just be dead quiet no one would know what to say i know i know <laughs> man this is fantastic um well I, you know i it's a it's a fun it's an exciting night uh it's based off of a president we were just leading uh, reading some of these a president who clearly knew uh, and, and and it just kind of goes to show you some of our thoughts see the mainstream republicans and uh mainstream leader they try to they try to put conservatism today in a box and they try to say Oh, those ideas just won't work, or they try to make you extreme, that sort of thing. They want other people to think you're in extreme. It's actually not the case. I mean, if you look at our history, you look even at you look at Reagan, you look at Coolidge, you look at Harding, and and, and maybe a few others. You know, these ideas that we're talking about used to be 
advocated for, uh, you know, at the highest office of the land. And so Arkansas can do so much better. Yeah, you know, from the founding of our country, it's almost been flipped on its head, what the people's view of the role of government. But you have these great presidential leaders who come around every, you know, unfortunately seems like, you know, based on the ones you just said, every three, four decades it takes to get someone in there who understands the role of government is to get out of the way. You know, let the I talk about the invisible hand. You know, the best way really is not a central government trying to plan everything, but the invisible hand of free people working together um, to in a free market economy, exchange of goods and services. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I'm encouraged, you know, here in Arkansas, like you said, there's a lot of defense played this session. Yeah. But it was good defense. It had to be done. And so uh, I'm optimistic, you know, good. For, good. for next session. OK, we played good defense. Now, next session, hopefully we can see some good offensive su- yeah. successes. Uh, we got a text message here uh, from a 479 number, no name or county, but uh, somebody wants to know, Paul, do you see Jake Files in the crowd? Um, <laughs> I do not. I don't think he's on the list. Yeah. Um, but uh, that's a good question. Um, there would be, you know, maybe uh, – well, you know, yeah, no, he's not here. Let's just say that. Let's just say that uh, Senator Jake Files is uh, certainly not here. Josh Waters, man, I appreciate you coming on the program. Paul, thanks for having me. Okay, all right. Uh, folks, the phone number, if you want to text us, call us. I want you to know that text message was a joke because uh, they put a lot of laugh, uh, crying so hard or laughing so hard you're crying emojis after it. Do you see Jake Files in the crowd? Uh, yeah, that's the thing is Jake Files is not here because there are no per diems. Uh, you don't get – per diem for showing up to the Calvin Coolidge Awards. So you're probably uh, not going to see a lot of legislators here based on that. Uh, 